Hello, patrons of YouTube. Here we are. We're looking at uh, the latest snapshot of Minecraft. You can see here in the corner, it's 12W34B. Uh, B because they just fixed a couple little things. So what we're going to do today is create a world. Hardcore, of course, because death is half the fun. Okay, let's just go with that and see where we end up. Um, just gonna adjust my mic real quick. There. I hope that wasn't noisy. Oh, I also forgot to turn on my mouse. I use the uh, Razer Orochi, which is a Bluetooth mouse, which works great for my Mac. All right, so we're connected. And we are in Taiga, which is fine. Okay, we can deal with this. Um, let's just take a look over here. We've got a quick little pool. So we've got a close supply of water, which is nice, as well as readily available stone. And we've got our first seed. Um, let's get some wood. So, uh, in Minecraft, especially with this new seed, they've introduced some new crops. So, I thought I'd put my chef hat on and uh, we're going to explore the culinary delights that are found here in the Minecraft world. Uh, I'm going to need more. As soon as I put down two blocks, I'll only need one more. See? So I overdid it. But that's all right, because that's going to give us ample wood to get going for now. I also hear a dog. A dog is, well, more appropriately, a wolf. And there he is. OK, so let's start with that. Now, every good chef needs a workbench. OK, so what else am I going to need? I'm going to need some tools. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and plunk this down, and we'll do some of that too. So I did mention that I'm going to need, uh, let's not do that. Actually, no. All right, let's just take this first. The rest will wait. Oh, you know what I do need? I need a sword. I'll take this. Oh, look at that. Already I see a cow. A cow is our second food item. As beef. Leather's going to come in handy too, but uh, we definitely need all of this beef. So let's go ahead and just take it. Okay, so what do we got? It looks like we're coming into some ocean, which is not bad. So we've seen wolves, which means I'm not going to see a sheep probably because they would have eaten them. Uh, let's come over here and get some of the stone that we're going to need because a good chef is going to need to cook things. So, stone. And with any luck, we'll also find some coal in here. And without any luck, we'll just be left with a hole in the wall. So I need at least eight just to deal with the uh, oven. 
and I'm going to need more for stone tools, such as a stone sword, a stone pick. So this ought to do. I was really hoping to find some coal in here, but that's all right. For now, that's fine. Seeds. More wolves. I've got lots of wolves here. Um, one of the things that I'm also doing is Look, looking under the trees to see if I can find some mushrooms. Mushrooms in Minecraft are quite delicious if you know how to prepare them. So far it would seem that we haven't really got too much. So what's over here? Is this a beachhead or is it actual desert? I think it's a beach. Okay, so, uh, hmm. We might have to travel a little bit just to find the various things that we want. Oh, oh that hurt. Uh, Okay, let's, let's be realistic here. I need to put that down because I need to make a hatchet if I want more wood. I'm going to probably need a few more of these. What else? Uh, actually, I'll take a shovel. Why not? I'll upgrade my sword right now. Uh, I'm building it because I have my bench open right now, but realistically, I'm going to wait a minute before I go ahead. All right. So this is faster. Thank you. So let's just go ahead and take up some wood. And let's carry on. We are in fact, where is it? Beach. There. So yes, okay. Let's get out of the, actually, you know what, let's, I'm grabbing up some sand just so that I have something that I can build a pillar on, get a sense of, you know, where I am, that kind of thing. I hear some monsters. So let's see if we can't find the entrance to this cave. Oh, look at this. They aren't far away. All right, so let's explore this a little bit. Oh, that's, look, oh, that's good too. Every good chef knows that uh, part of good food prep involves cold storage, so it's important that you have a certain amount of that. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, there's the skeleton, or the spider. All right, spider, where you at? Okay, that didn't get me anything. There's a wolf over there. Hmm. Okay, where are my bad guys at? 
This is a pretty deep hole. Okay, let's... Uh, looking down into there. It's pretty empty right now. Okay, so let's, let's grab some coal. Coal is important as a uh, fuel. It's not the best fuel when it comes to cooking food. Um, it's kind of dirty. But realistically, you got to cook it with something, right? So you might as well cook it with what you got. But I'll be showing you guys a trick in Minecraft where you can make your food actually taste a lot better. So one of the things that was a bit disappointing was by when I took out that spider, it would have been really nice if I was able to get some string. Um, a lot of people go for a bow when they come with spider attacks and things like that, but I'm going to be realistic here, and I'm going to say, while a bow is nice, in a pursuit of food, a fishing rod is best. Because you don't really get too hungry while fishing. Alright, so this is good. So we're using up... Oh, shh. Crap. Alright, so I just lost some of my coal. And I hear lots of angry guys. So let's use up some of my coal now. Now, I should also be careful because I don't have a lot in the way of uh, armor and by not a lot I mean I have none <sighs> okay time for the sand Now I'm in here right now because there's another food item that I'm going to mention. If I can find myself a zombie. Now this is probably the second most disgusting food option. Because zombie meat isn't really something that you want to have. But when faced with starvation, it might be the best option. All right, so here's here's a guy right here. Let's see. Oh, come on, stay in the light. Come at me. All right. Oh, somebody's attacking me here. Oh, another zombie. Okay, so I got some rotten flesh. So here we go. We're, we're actually making some good progress here. All right. There's also more coal as well as lots of iron. So let's do this. Another one, right? Okay. And oh, let's put this down. Now I hear lava really close by. I also hear more zombies. So let's at least slow them down a little bit. Okay. So let's grab up some of this iron. Iron's going to become important. Um, unlike in Ultra Hardcore, where they're all about getting iron so that they can armor up, we're getting iron because it's important to have a bucket. Because a bucket is immensely useful. Um, especially if I can find some more cows. Because Cows are great for getting leather and for getting steak, which is an important food item. But they're also great for getting milk. And milk also has some restorative properties. 
really? Just one? Yeah. So, oh, okay, here's some more. Oh, lots here. Yeah, this is good. Very nice. All right, so we're getting ourselves iron. I probably should be careful not to get turned around. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so that was a bit of a seam. Um, we need more torches. Get you off of my hopper. Okay, so that should do for. Actually, you know what? Before I go too far, I've got lots of iron, and smelting it up takes a while. So let's get that started. So if that's there. Put that there. Uh, actually, we can put the whole thing in. So we'll start with that, but we're very quickly going to follow it up with some uh, of that lovely steak that we got. All right, so let's take out some of this too. Oh, good, look at that. I hear some more spiders as well as some more zombies. Now, you might think that zombie meat is next to useless, but the thing is, if we run into skeletons, and we very well might, especially in this place, skeletons will give us bones, and with bones we can tame ourselves a dog. And well, you gotta feed them something. And dogs aren't really all that picky. They'll eat up the zombie meat, which means you get to enjoy the steak. Now, yes, a dog likes the steak too, so when he's been a good boy, feel free. But in a pinch, you can make things go a lot better. Right, so I hear somebody running around. It might be nighttime up top. And you know, to be honest, I'm starting to get kind of hungry myself. If you look at uh, my hunger bar there, you'll see that I'm pretty darn hungry. I'm so hungry that if I was to get into a tangle with uh, these monsters up top, I might not make it. Oh, and look, there's uh, one of our friends right there. Okay, so quickly we'll take that. Now, I have more cooking, so that's fine, but, oh, it's daytime. Good. All right. Let's uh, see where he went. There he is. Oh. Now, I didn't realize quite how hurt I am until I looked right now. I should have been paying more attention, but, well, I didn't. So, that means that I need to deal with this. So, once this is done, let's put my steaks on the grill. Let's, uh, let's make our bucket, because we're going to need one anyway. And five, six, seven, eight. Let me think. Well, let's, uh, let's make a helmet as well, because, well, I kind of need to. So, I'm partially equipped. Um, oh, good. Let's get some food in our bellies. So, all we got out of that skeleton was one arrow. And while one arrow is fantastic, um, I'm definitely not upset about getting that. I was hoping for some bones. I'm 
basically just trying to make a little bit of room here. All right. Uh, let's actually relocate this. So we'll put it there. Five. Okay, so we've got that. That's fine going, so it's fine. I'll leave it there. Uh, you. Thank you. Sixteen. We'll make a full stack. So we've got surplus now. Okay. Uh, what else we get on the go? Oh, let's make a chest. Because even though this is a hardcore map, I plan on accumulating a fair bit of stuff. So I'll set that there. So gotta have some snow for still some storage. I don't have a bow right now, so there's no need. Okay, so I've got a few things in there. I do like to repair my tools, so I'll keep a fresh one on the bar. Oh, that's done. Okay, so for now, let's do that. And let's do that. So, the next order of business. is to find our way out, which looks like to be over this way. Yeah, so this brings us back. Oh, I'm being attacked from behind. Sneak attack. What are you running away for? All right, so there's one piece of string. That was one, right? Oh, and look, we got ourselves a spider eye. Spider eyes, um, well, we'll play around with them. They make for some good potions, ingredients and stuff like that though. Now, there you are. Couple spider eyes, two string. All right, we're in business. Uh, let's torch this area a little bit just so that I know where to come back to. And let's get ourselves some trees. Now, when I cooked up my steaks, I did it using uh, coal. It was the first thing I had available and I got the job done. Now this time I'm only gonna place the one. This time, I'm looking for some saplings. Oh, there's one. So let's just sort of. By cutting that off like that, this tree here, if I take out everything, these leaves will despawn on their own while I do other things. Okay, so let's just come out onto the beach. Okay. So I've got a stack of lumber. I'm gonna need another bench, which is fine. So let's just plunk that down. Uh, what else do I need here? Oh, I was going to make a fishing rod, wasn't I? Thank you. So a fishing rod is three pieces of wood to make a long enough pole and then some string. 
Okay. Now I know for most people, you all understand that this is what this is. And I don't need to go over all the recipes. But, oh, 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 oh. Now this isn't really a food item, but it should be because we just got ourselves some ink sacks right there. Look at that, fantastic stuff. The reason I was coming over here though is twofold. One, I saw some sugar cane. Now what cook could get away without having sugar? You can't. I mean, yes, you can use this sugar cane to make yourself up some nice uh, paper and from there you can do all sorts of things too but let's be real sometimes you need some sweetness in life okay I don't know what happened to that so let's come back over oh no wait let's fish we're here for food right so let's do some fishing oh I'm not the best fisherman, but I'm going to try my best here today. So we're just going to let the bobber uh, bob. And there we go. We got a fish. Oh, not there. I'll put you there. So uh, it's not a bad day for fishing. I'm going to get a couple of them, and then I'm going to call it quits because, well, you're looking at a blue screen. Part of it's water, part of it's sky. Anyway. So, uh, let's do this. Oh, good. So, okay, we're starting to get somewhere now. Got a bunch of saplings. Saplings are going to be good for a variety of reasons. Uh, one of which is just simply, it's nice to be able to replant trees when you need to. That's the sinkhole that I created earlier. Oh, oh. So I managed that okay. I'm going to cover this up now. I'll put that down too. Um, those are creepers. Uh, if I was able to take them without having them blow up, they might provide me with some uh, gunpowder. But you can't eat gunpowder. Uh-oh, I heard another skeleton. Oh, the skeleton has heard me. This skeleton dropped a bow, a well-used, about-to-break bow, but a bow nonetheless. No arrows, no bones. Skeleton. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Cheap bastard. All right, let's get some coal. Actually, I'm not going to need a lot of coal. I'll take the iron. Let's go back down to my little workshop area, which I believe is through here. I keep hearing those dogs thinking I can do something about it. All right. Oh, oh. All right. 
I gotta light this place up a bit better because this is ridiculous. Where did he come from? Maybe over this way. Where there's more iron. Okay, yeah. Those guys are just bad news. There's no food from them. And they will be the first thing to ruin your kitchen. So just be careful whenever you see them. Uh, give them room. Okay. So we're going to go back in here, and at least today we can talk about our first recipe. And our first recipe is going to say, get rid of the coal. Here's the most important thing. If you're going to cook your raw fish, and while raw fish is great for a treat, for dessert, so if you're going to have some sushi with it, you know, that kind of thing. But you can place, you know, for the purposes of this show, I'm only going to put in the one fish for now. So you can place that in the furnace. And then you can use spruce saplings, otherwise known as cedar planks, to really bring out the flavor in that fish. So now look at what we got. Cedar smoked cooked salmon. Delicious fish. You saw that. The game doesn't lie. So that's what we have, and that's where we're going to end off for today uh, with some delicious fish. Let's do that one more time, just because. You know, technically, in a pinch, you could... Uh, actually, proper planking would be uh, that. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Yeah, it looks like it will. That's probably enough to do two fish. I could have done that as well. All right, so there we go. We've, we've cooked our fish. We've cooked up some steak. We're not doing too bad in terms of food. Um, Next time, maybe I'll be able to uh, see what I got here. Yeah, maybe I'll get around to planting some crops. We'll see what we can get done. So we got some food. Oh, we also got some other ingredients. Okay. Oh yeah, we've also got some more crops to plant. Sounds good. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next time.